National Astronomical Observatory of Japan, Nobuyama. Located 1,300 meters above sea level, a small village in Nobayama is the home for the Nobayama Radio Observatory and the Nobayama Solar Radio Observatory. Researchers and students from around the world visit Nobayama for high-quality astronomical research and cutting-edge instrumental development. The 45-meter telescope is one of the world's largest radio telescopes that observes in the so-called millimeter wavelengths. Using every bit of the giant 45-meter dish, Astronomers collect extremely weak signals from nearby space where stars are just beginning to form to distant terrestrial objects. Advanced machinery and a sophisticated software control system makes this all possible. Because millimeter wavelengths penetrate through dust, what appear as dark spots in optical images become visible using the 45-meter telescope, allowing Nobayama astronomers to explore the dark universe. Astid Telescope is the state-of-the-art 10-meter telescope that observes primarily in sub-millimeter wavelengths. Astid is located in the Atacama Desert in northern Chile, 4,800 meters above sea level. Here, the exceptionally dry air provides the best observing conditions. Astronomers operate the telescope from a remote site in Chile or from Japan by sending commands through the internet. ASTIC has been producing astonishing images of the center of our own Milky Way galaxy, nearby star-forming regions, and distant galaxies. The Nobayama Radio Heliograph is a radio telescope dedicated to observing the active sun. By electronically connecting 84 parabolic antennas, each with an 80-centimeter diameter, the telescope becomes as powerful as a 500-meter diameter telescope. The radio heliograph generates a maximum of 20 images every second, regardless of the weather condition, allowing astronomers to monitor the activity of the sun continuously, all year round. The Nobuyama Radio Polarimeter observes the sun with eight antennas and seven different frequencies in the microwave wavelengths. These specially designed telescopes allow astronomers to understand the active sun, and it plays an important role in investigating the long-term variations of the sun. Nobuyama astronomers work day and night, all year round, to explore from nearby celestial objects such as our own sun, all the way to distant galaxies that are millions of light years away. Taiyou これを電波で見てみるとどうなるのでしょうか。延べ山電波ヒリオグラフで観測された電波像はその中のごく一部でのみ電波放射が出ていることを示しています。これは強いエネルギー解放がその場所でのみ通告していることを示しているのです。The Orion Nebula, one of the brightest nebulae in the sky, is a region in space where a dazzling variety of stars are born. Nobuyama astronomers observe the entire Orion Nebula using the 45-meter telescope and discovered ample amounts of molecular gas all over the region. They further found that the brightest part of the Orion Nebula, called Orion KL, harbors a number of complex molecules. An episode of star formation begins when molecular gas clouds are pulled together by gravity. Clumps of gas attract surrounding gas clouds, radically transforming to a giant gas clump. At the center of this clump, an infant star forms. M33, also known as the Triangulum Galaxy, is a galaxy located 2.5 million light-years away. 
by spending over 300 hours of observing time on the 45-meter telescope. Nobayama astronomers discovered numerous clumps of molecular gas, called GMCs, aligned with the giant spiral structure of stars. Each one of these GMCs is the future site of a star formation. アステを使って初期宇宙にある生まれつつある銀河の探査を進めていますこれまでの観測で数百を超える新たな天体を見つけましたこれらの銀河は光ではほとんど見えずサブミー波で光っており今後巨大な銀河に成長すると考えられますまたこれらはダークマターがたくさん集まったところに存在して宇宙の大規模構造の形成とも密接に関わっています宇宙にはダークエネルギーという謎のエネルギーもあり非常にエキサイティングですこれらの謎を解くのが私たち天文学者の夢です<音楽>